50. Uh, we'll see. Okay. You ready? Rolling. Okay. Larry, could you give us your full name, please, and spell it for us? Uh, Lawrence Josiah Schuyler. That's L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E-J-O-S-I-A-H. Schuyler, S-C-H-U-Y-L-E-R. And could you give us your parents' names? Uh, Henrietta. Uh, do you want her married Her name? maiden name and her, her maiden, maiden name. name. Yeah. Her maiden names. name was Baird, and she married my father, so her name was Henry Edda Schuyler, and she divorced and remarried to Albert Owens. Okay. And what was your father's name? Oscar. Oscar Schuyler? Oscar Schuyler. Okay. And that, who were your um, grandparents on your father's side? Uh... Abby, I never knew my grandfather, Abby Schuyler, and I think her husband's name was Jonas, I'm not sure. Jonas? Yeah. Okay. How about your, your mother's side then? Well, that was Chauncey Baird and Matilda Baird. Okay. Did you ever uh, find out who your great-grandparents were? Never. No? So you don't remember them at all? Never. Okay. Did your mother and uh, father go to school anywhere? Did they ever tell you about schooling? Uh, my mother, she went to, uh, I think it was Hampton Institute in uh, okay. Virginia. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long she went there, but mm -hmm. my father, I never knew him. You never knew your father? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So, <coughs> were you ever um, in the military? There? I was in the Army from 1948 till 1952. Okay, and where were you stationed during that time? I was stationed, the first year I was over in the Aleutian Islands, and I was stationed down by St. Louis for about two and a half years, and I went over to Korea in 1951. Oh, okay. And then discharged in 1952? Discharged in 1952. Okay. Uh, what year were you married? I was married. Well, now you. <laughs> <laughs> now you you're testing the brain. <laughs> uh, I was uh, 1953. Remember what month you were married? September. September 1953. Se September 5th, 1953. Oh, okay. And where were you married at? I was married in the church here, the Holy Apostles Church. Oh, okay. And do you have a family, Larry? Children? Yes, I have five children. One daughter, the oldest is, and uh, four boys. Okay. Can you give me their names? Sure. The oldest, Linda, and my second oldest is uh, my son, Rick, and my son, Mike, my son, David, and the last one is William. Okay. And you have grandchildren? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, let's see, my son Rick has got three, my son Dave has got one, my son Mike has got three, so I don't know how many, how many does that add up to? Six, it sounds seven, eight? like about nine. About nine, yeah, it's close. Somewhere around Somewhere there. Somewhere around there. <laughs> I yeah. suppose I daren't ask you the names. <laughs> oh, 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 I think I remember the okay. names. Okay, uh, you want to give me the names? Okay, well, my uh, Rick, his children are David, the oldest boy, I mean, Dan, Daniel, the oldest boy, David, and a daughter named Julie. Mike has got a daughter named Brianna and two twin sons named uh, Elijah and Hunter. And uh, David, he has a daughter named Amelia. So. And no grandchildren yet? No grandchildren. I mean, great-grandchildren. No great-grandchildren. Oh. Okay. So what was, uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Well, I, I got some half-brothers that I never met. And I met one of them, I think. Uh, what is that? William, Gary, Oscar, and I don't know the other guy's name. Oh, they're your half-brothers? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. 
William, I know, that he came to my house one time, mm -hmm. and uh, we talked, and I stayed in touch with him off and on. Oh, I think he's good. living in Green Bay somewhere now. Oh. Did you have any sisters? Well, I had one sister that I didn't know I had. She, uh, she contacted me, oh, I don't know, about six or seven years ago, I got a phone call and said I had a, said she, she told me she was my sister. Mm -hmm. But years ago in the early 30s, I, I thought my mother had another child, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So, and I thought it was a, another son that died, but it turns out it was a daughter that she put up for adoption. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's still living? And she's still living, yeah. She's mm -hmm. living in somewhere in uh, Ozaki County, I mean. Uh, oh, okay. So. Did you know if your, um, if your grandparents ever went to school, like Chansey and Tilly, did they go off to school anywhere that you know? Tilly, I don't know if she went off to school, Chansey, and he went to uh, Carlisle. He went to Carlisle? Mm -hmm. Did he graduate from there? I have no idea if he graduated or not. Oh, he never okay. mentioned it to me. Okay. And where did you live when you were growing up? I lived with my grandparents, Chauncey and Tilly. And where was that at? That was on South Park Avenue. Oh, okay. If you know where that is, I don't know what they call it now. Oh, is it still South Park Avenue, Gordon? No, it's Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Oh, Shenandoah, 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 Shenandoah yeah. okay. okay. Did you have um, running water and electricity when you were there? Well, we never had running water. We had, uh, I think the electricity came in about 40, 41, I think. Mm -hmm. No, I think it was after 41, sometime in there anyway. Where did you get your water from then? Well, the first several years, my grandfather and I, we used to have to go down to a spring. That was, a, you know, you know where mm -hmm. the old Chenequa building is? Mm -hmm. It was a spring there near the railroad tracks, and that's where we oh. carried our water from there. Uh -huh. Then Morris Wheelock dug a well, so we had a pump up the hill from us, and that's... Oh, okay. Then later on, after he left, my grandmother had her own pump put in. Oh, okay. So she had a well by her house mm -hmm. then in later years? Right in front of the house. Oh, okay. And where did you go to school, Larry? I started off at the uh, Catholic school. Up in the night, I went the first three years I went there, and I went down to the mission school here. I graduated from there, and I spent one year in North Carolina going to school down there, and I ended up at uh, Green Bay East, and I went to uh, West of here, and I never graduated from high school. Okay. And then when did you... Um Move away from the reservation. After I got back from the service in 52, I looked for work around here. I got a job at uh, Green Bay Drop Forge. I worked there for about a month in August. And it was miserable hot, and all the old guys would tell me, get out, I'm too young. So I said, and then they laid me off, and I couldn't find another job, so I moved to Milwaukee. And, uh, October, and I finally got a job at Allen Bradley in 19, November of 1952. I worked there for 37 years till I retired. Oh, okay. You're retired now? I'm retired now. Okay. Enjoying your retirement, are oh, you? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on my way up to Hayward to go golfing now. <laughs> oh, that's what your wife was saying. Yeah. That's one of your hobbies? Do you have any other hobbies? Hobbies, bowling. I like to bowl and golf. That's about it. You know. Okay. Did you um, ever get involved in anything with the tribal government? No, I've been I've been away since '52, so I never did get involved. Okay. Do you ever come up for any of the general tribal council meetings they have? Once or twice, I think I came up. Do you? Um, take advantage of any of the uh, elderly programs that the tribe has? Uh, such as? Like the pharmacy or the health center? Or oh yeah, no. the health center, I I, uh, I see a doctor at the health center mm -hmm. and I get my uh, 
my drugs from the pharmacy up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big help, huh? Oh, sure. I learned about that, oh, I don't know, eight or nine years ago. Somebody uh -huh. told me I could do that, so I thought oh, I might as well okay. take advantage of it. Sure. So, what do you think about um, the per capita? The per capita, that's fine with me. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, make waves or anything. I said, <laughs> the people up here, you know, the tribal council, the general tribal council, you know, uh -huh. they, they live on the rest, so whatever they say, I'll go along with them. Okay. Easy to get along with. It's them. easy to get along with, right. <laughs> Let's go back to your, your childhood and your growing up years. Um, is there any holidays that you remember that stand out in your mind? Uh, not really. No? No. Did you ever do anything at Christmas? Christmas? Uh, the only thing special about Christmas was uh, Christmas Eve Mass at the church, you know. Oh, okay. I used to be an altar boy and... You were an altar boy I at the church? I was an altar boy and that was a special day for me. Okay. Special evening, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh. What about New Year's? New Year's? No, it's nothing. Hoi An. Everybody went Hoi on in on New Year's. And what did, what did your parents, t or your grandparents tell you Hoi An was? Hoi An meant? Hoi An meant? Uh, they, didn't, they, never, they never said anything. You know. What do you think it meant? Well, I, I was under the impression it meant Happy New Year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. So, But you enjoyed that. Oh, sure. You know, mm -hmm. and we had, uh, we were, we weren't rich by any means, you know, and so anything I got on uh, New Year's Day was very well appreciated. <laughs> and what did you do for entertainment when you were growing up? Uh, well, during the early years, like say, in the early 30s, I just, you know, played outside with the neighborhood children and uh, did you go skating or we went sledding? Sledding and then after when I got up into nine, ten, twelve then we went skating on Duck Creek mm -hmm. under the bridge down there. Went Make to movies, we went to movies sometimes if we had the money to go and we oh, hitchhiked okay. into town. Twenty five cents you could go to a movie and have some soda and all that stuff. And what town did you go to? We went to Green Bay. Green Bay? Mm -hmm. Did you go to um, sliding then too in the winter time? Oh sure, we went to sled riding. We used to slide down the hill in front of uh, my house, our our house on uh, South Park Avenue. Mm -hmm. Then we went down that hill by the old Seneca building, mm -hmm. or uh, Dr. Hills. Yeah. That was always a good hill to slide down. So there a lot of kids there? Oh yes, there was a whole bunch of kids. There's a couple of times we went out here to the uh, cemetery, you know, it's that hill behind the cemetery. Seminary? The or cemetery. The cemetery. Uh, by the cemetery? By the cemetery. Oh, you know, yeah. Right oh. behind the church there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you seen a lot of um, changes in Oneida <coughs> since, since you grew up? Yes, I have seen a lot of changes. I've seen uh, running water, inside toilets. All the good stuff. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, grow, getting bigger. And, yeah. Do you uh, do you remember the old village of Oneida, how it was? The one up on the hill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that too. There was uh, Trader's grocery store, Morgan's grocery store. It was Coonan's Tavern, Ben Rexel's Tavern across the street. And they had the old... Uh, what we call it, uh, you know, for getting our food. Oh, commodities building? Commodities, well, I, we call it, I don't know, welfare or something yeah, like I that. Yeah, I remember that yeah. building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the drugstore? And drugstore, yeah, I almost forget about that. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> and the depot? And the uh, train depot, yeah, I, didn't, I never called any train stop in there, but 
You mm -hmm. don't recall any of her stuff? No, but I but remember the train people there. I was going to ask you if you ever rode on the train. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything special that you remember when you were growing up? Any special events? Anything special that happened to you when you were growing up? Hmm. Not really. There's no special things, you know, like, well, church picnics and uh, school picnics, but mm -hmm. it, that's about it, I can't remember. Yeah. And what school did you say you went to again? Holy it, Apostles? It, yeah. The mission school here. Oh, okay. Did you go all eight years there? No, I went fourth grade on. So oh, the first okay. three years I went to the oh, the Catholic St. school. Up, yeah. Up, okay. Up yeah. There. Three years there. Okay. Did your uh, grandparents talk to another language? Yes, they did. They teach you? No. No. They were uh, very, you know. I don't know what you call it, but they would talk amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. But they would never talk Indian to me because when you're growing up, you're growing up in a white man's world, mm -hmm. and they figured you got to learn the white man's language. Mm -hmm. So they never took the trouble to teach me the Oneida language. Mm -hmm. so, so I just, I just, you know, the few words yeah. that you could understand. Yeah. That you pick up here and there. Yeah, that you pick up here and there, yeah. <laughs> some good. Yeah. Some bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of advice would you give to um, the youth of today? Well, I would tell them, I, it says, go to school for one thing and mm -hmm. finish, you know, graduate. And if you can go on to higher education, go on, because uh, as of now, there's nothing out there for high school graduates that I know mm -hmm. worked like I did in the factory for yeah. 30, 40 years. And if you can find a job now in a factory, you know, because yeah. the jobs are getting scarce. Factories closing? Factories are closing. I, mean, I know where I worked, they closed down a lot of departments, moved them south where the labor is cheaper, moved my department to Mexico. Oh, really? Yeah. And they didn't care about the uh, quality, you know, because mm -hmm. what we made was a superior quality and it would last for a long time. So if they went to Mexico and they didn't make them so very good, then they could sell more. Mm -hmm. so that's the way I look at it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And how long have you been living in Milwaukee? Since 52. Since 52? Mm -hmm. A lot of years. It's a lot of years, yeah. Were you ever involved in any um, kind of Native American uh, programs in Milwaukee? Uh, no. The uh, United Indians, mm -hmm. I was with them for a well, while they folded. Mm -hmm. Did they have, did the uh, Indians have any kind of a social club in Milwaukee? Well, yeah, they, they started one called the Buckskins Club, okay. you know, and that lasted for, oh, 25 years, I think, before. So it, everybody started moving on. Everybody started moving <laughs> back up to Oneida. <laughs> Was that mostly Oneidas that, that belonged to that social club? Yeah, mostly Oneidas, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was some Manam. Yeah. Okay. So where is your next bowling tournament? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You just know you're going to be going bowling, huh? Uh, yeah. yeah well, Pretty the, soon. The next one would probably be uh, uh, Billy Danford's tournament next oh, spring. Oh, okay. Next spring again? Yeah, yeah. next spring mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Uh, do you come out to Oneida quite often? Yes, I do. I come out once or twice a month. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, either to pick up prescriptions or, you know, mm -hmm. stay with my mother-in-law. Mm-hmm. And who is your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law is uh, Helen, used to be Helen Matax, and then she married uh, Irvin Wheelock, Irvin Wheelock, and then she married Norman Robinstein. Mm -hmm. 
bathroom. Where do, and where does she live? She lives up in the uh, elderly housing by oh, the okay. daycare school. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that elderly housing? I think it's a it's it's great for the elderly. Mm -hmm. you know. Are they pretty full over there all the time? I, they are all pretty full. You know, the building my mother-in-law is, you know, two people move out and next time I come out, the apartments are rented right away. Yeah, new people. It's huh? very reasonable rent, you know, mm -hmm. I think. The older people probably could, some of them are working, but, you know, the older ones, I think they can, you know, afford the mm -hmm. rent on their mm -hmm. social security and stuff yeah. like that. So that's one good benefit from the tribe. Oh, sure is, yeah. That, the health center, you know, that's... Yeah. I'm glad they're using their uh, gambling money wisely, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything I missed, guys? Okay. Well, we want to thank you, Larry. Oh, sure. No problem. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Well, you didn't ask me any hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'll true and false, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll hook you in a minute.